snakes have fascinated us and left us intrigued from time immemorial. They are sparklingly beautiful yet dangerous if provoked. They play a significant role in many mythologies and cultures. However, their cool appearance due to the possession of eyes without lids, uniform legless form, serpentine movement and fluidly cool feel has made them an object of fear. Moreover, the bites of some but not all of them are venomous with lethal impacts. This has resulted in the development of an unwarranted fear amongst most people. We are totally ignoring the basic fact that snakes form a part of an essential food wave of nature. Breaking of the wave can have a direct or indirect impact on the survival of the human species. What I notice the most is not the snake, but the people around the snake. What I saw was panic. What I saw was terror in the eyes of the people while they are encountering a snake. What is the most important thing that the people fear about snake? So I realized it goes back to our culture, our history, where most of the time snake has been depicted as a negative force. Now, once I come to the scientific ground, what I saw was there are about 70 or 60 to 70 species of snake in the state of Assam and this number keep on changing because um, new species are being added regularly, new findings are being added, new range extension from Assam are recorded, so the number changes. What does not change and it's not changing is the people's attitude towards snake because when I have encountered and questioned the most important thing people feel that it is slithery and something without limb how they can move everywhere and you know and then the venom aspect of the snake now I'll, I'm happy to say that less than 10% of the snake present in Assam that is I say it's 60 so it comes down to six snakes which can uh, produce a bite which is lethal to human. Now if I categorize snakes, so there are venomous snakes, there are non-venomous snakes and there are some snakes which are venomous, they do have venom but that venom is not lethal for human. That can be potent for rats or smaller mammals but not for humans. So basically why do snakes have venom? The snake has venom mainly to kill their prey and they do not want to waste the venom. Venom is very costly because they have to use lots of uh, you know energy to create that venom and they do not want to waste it in human. Almost or even more than 90% of the snakes in the state of Assam will not produce a uh, venomous bite. So now, unfortunately, there is a case where you have a venomous bite. So how to go about it? That's the most important thing. And that can really mean a lot. And it can mean death or survivability. So for example, a person is bitten by a snake. We do not know what snake. Because uh, specialists will know what snake is venomous and what is not but for a doctor or a generalistic person every snake when they bite when you go you should immediately go to your health center maybe your a medical college or public health center whatever it is you should go there and visit a doctor there are thousands of beliefs and myths surrounding snakes widespread in the country which are often misleading. A large number of deaths due to snake bites are reported every year, especially in rural areas. People often take the help of snake charmers and quacks for treatment of snake bite victims. This mostly results in death of the victims. <laughs>
ধরন মন্ত্রক দ্বারা বিষটা নামাই নামানোর পরে আদা লবণ এগুলো আমরা ঝাড় ফুঁক করে খাওয়াই দিব তার মানে ওইখানে বিষটা আমরা চেক করি আর কি যদি হাত চালান দিয়ে দেখি বিষ নাই তখন আমি আমরা আদা লবণটা খাওয়াই দিব তারপরে যদি কয় আমার ঝাল লাগছে তাহলে আর বিষ থাকে না বুঝছো তখন ভালো হয়ে যায় चिमटी मारले टेर पाइबी मारसे मेडिकल bitten by a non venomous snake which does not require any treatment and there is the trick now you see if a you know i say 20 out of 1 out of 20 bite can be lethal because i told 50% of the venomous bites are also you know they do not uh, envenomate so this is 21 out of 20 can be venomous so if somebody is saving 1 out of 20 uh, sorry 19 out of 20 person you will say he is doing a good job and that is what the ojhas the traditional healers take advantage of because 20 out 19 out of 20 time when they are practicing or performing their ritual and where you are feeling that they have healed the person they are actually even if you keep the person at home even a one month old baby can treat that person because there is nothing to treat because this is a non venomous bite or a bite which does not have venom in it now we start getting towards ojha and bear and in this process if it is a venomous bite we are losing lot of time so time is of essence when it is a venomous bite so please visit your health center and talk to your doctor or talk to the doctor present there about your symptom so to give you a very basic idea about the symptoms of snake bite there are three types of bites three types of venoms that can be there one is neurotoxic one is cytotoxic and one is hemotoxic for most of the part of northeast india so if you are bitten by a neurotoxic like cobra and crab they are mostly they are producing neurotoxic crait only produces neurotoxic cobra produces both cytotoxic and neurotoxic cytotoxic venom will have some damage to your tissues and you will have swellings necrosis etc but neurotoxin do not have any such it will directly attack your nerve and finally the this is the diaphragm where because of which we breathe which enlarges and lets air uh, get in and then we expel out but once you are bitten by a snake which is having neurotoxic venom so this uh, nervous system will fail and the muscle will not expand and the person will die of asphyxia asphyxia means uh, you will not be able to breathe and you will die next question is cytotoxic venom will act on your tissue and it will start degrading your tissue and then the last one is hemotoxic where it will not allow your blood to float so if you have a cut in somewhere in your body the blood will keep on coming out so blood clotting factor will fail now the only solution to a venomous bite is anti venom and anti venom is nowadays available in most of the health centers so as what i have known from my doctor friends that there is this uh, medicine known as neostigmine and then there is this atropine uh, and then there is this adrenaline maybe these are the things along with antivenom which is required doctors are better place to 
talk about that but what i am concerned about before when it is you are bitten and the by the time you reach hospital this time period is critical and what you do can determine your uh, livelihood so do not tie do not tie again and again do not tie do nothing keep the wound as it is do not cut do not suck it can make the thing worse so don't do that second just hold the hand if you are with bite in your hand hold the hand and tie it with a rope or something like that to your shoulder whenever you have a broken arm whatever you do do the same because that way you are supporting your arm and you are not allowing your blood to move too fast so basic logic says if the blood is not moving too fast so what will happen the venom will spread in your body slowly and once the venom spreads slowly you get that extra time so the patient should not walk too much as much as possible possibly the patient should be uh, slept in a bed or even in the vehicle it should be in a sleeping position the patient should be so as to limit whatever can be done to reduce the heart beat the more the heart beats more is the chance of venom spreading across the body the important thing we should do is keep our home clean because if our home are not clean there will be rodents rats and rats will you know rats will encourage snakes to come so keep the home clean secondly whenever you are going outside always use a torch if possible in the snake infested area use boots while you are roaming around so these are some of the very basic techniques if you and never sleep on ground in a snake infested area because like crates are active by night most of the snakes are active by day but crates are the group active by night and crate bite is very dangerous because locally you will find nothing there will be no pain nothing because crates the fangs the teeth through which the venom are, venoms are injected very small it's like a mosquito bite you will feel and the pers- and the venom is highly toxic the most toxic venom of the of any snake in this region so if you are sleeping on ground there are many cases where the snake has bitten you know and the person was not aware and died in sleep and always use mosquito net in the snake infested areas where the snake will it will save you from mosquitoes as well as from snakes cultures snake has been given milk to drink so there is no enzyme present in the snake because to drink will even uh, in human there is this you know this enzyme known as lactase which helps to digest milk so when we grow old many a times we get this known as lactose intolerance where we cannot drink milk child to have this enzyme in full quantity so they can drink it so that enzyme is not there in snake so human can sometime cannot drink milk snake can die if you if they drink more milk or it is it's toxic for them but very interesting these snakes do not hear any sound because they do not have any ears so why they move or dance so as to say is because uh, they just follow the uh, the beam the pipe or the flute of the snake charmer and they follow it that's the if you do the same thing with hand the snake will do the same movement and uh, now uh, in 2022 i don't know but in 2021 i think there was a serial and till today it's there i don't know you because i don't know the c serials but uh, it was so in 2021 or 22 we are still watching um, you know a serial which is where you see uh, uh, an animal uh, turning uh, once it is a snake once it is a human once it is a snake once it is a human so the evolution becomes meaningless you know the thousands and thousands of if we could have done this so th- what is the use of evolution of thousands and thousands of year where we have evolved so first of all it is not possible you know i don't know any film been made on you know made on leopard but there are many film made on snakes exclusively on snakes and most of the time with miss knowledges so i think it's because we want to eat that recipe 
the TV is dishing out. They also know that these are myths, but since we are too much absorbed in eating this recipe of, you know, films and cereals that they dish out, but slowly, slowly it is dying out and people are, you know, exposed to the, we have become global citizens and we have seen lots of, lots of, you know, data available in even Discovery National Geographic, they are giving lots of information. So slowly and surely it will reduce, but these things are in a way barrier to snake conservation. There are questions that do herbal medicine work in case of snake bite. See, medicine being of any work, it's about what is the reason it should work. Like for example, there are herbal medicine which can help reduce pain. So if you say that uh, after snake bite, the herbal medicine has reduced your pain, I agree. Because there are, even after snake bite, if there is a itchy sensation in your skin, even if that is, you know, subdued by some herbal medicine, that is also I agree. But will that fight against the venom of the snake? I disagree because I do not know of any treatment available which fights against the venom itself. So venom is basically a protein. It's not a bacteria, it's not a virus or anything like that. It's like a protein. That's the problem. Our body is made up of protein. So it's a protein which acts against our protein. That's the problem. It's a biochemical process. It's not a pathogen. So that's the problem. And uh, the antivenom which is made to cure us is also made up of uh, snake venom. there are lots of nowadays uh, it's a good news and bad news as well now it uh, nowadays i have seen uh, even if you go and look into the records of assam state zoo you will find that more snake is rescued than ever before and the high i think the highest number of rescue animal is snake so it's a good news because many a time people may think the number of snake has increased in Guwahati. So so many no, the snake number has not increased, but their habitat is shrinking. So snake is coming out uh, to human habitat. And also the good news is that that uh, people are reporting more. Uh, you know, rather than killing the snake, they are reporting it, and that is a good sign, that uh, healthy sign. But the bad sign is that many a times where the snake is not required to be rescued. Then also people are calling to get the snake rescued. Uh, wish you all a very happy World Snake Day. Snakes require our love and care and it's our responsibility. So if we can do that responsibility well, I think we have done a fair enough job. So happy Snake Day, Say happy World Snake Day to all of you again. Thank you.